Hey everyone, today I'm diving deep into one of the most intriguing puzzles of the digital age, the identity of Satoshi Nakamoto, the enigmatic creator of Bitcoin. And the question on everyone's mind, is Craig Wright really Satoshi? Here's why some believe he just might be. First up, let's think about Satoshi Nakamoto. If he's still out there, it's hard to imagine he'd stay quiet while someone falsely claimed his identity, right? Well, since Craig Wright stepped up as Satoshi, the real Satoshi has remained silent. This silence could be interpreted as an indirect confirmation of Craig's claim. Moving on to our second point. If Craig Wright were lying about being Satoshi, wouldn't there be a line of people who themselves saw or took part in the identity fraud, when his opponent's side has much bigger power and popularity? Surprisingly, we see the opposite. There's a stark absence of witnesses who do this. This lack of decisive counterclaims might suggest that Craig's story could stand on firmer ground than skeptics believe. Lastly, consider the risk involved for those backing Craig Wright. Numerous people have supported his claim, risking their reputations and potentially more, to stand by him, again, when his opponent's side is composed of economic giants with much bigger power and popularity. If Craig were not Satoshi, why would so many take such significant risks? This could be seen as a strong piece of decisive evidence supporting his claim. So, there you have it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more thought-provoking content like this. See you in the next video.